and I usually coordinate the levy watches and we run them out of here. We just had two crews go out and hit the levees and then they'll work, rotate back and forth till midnight and then there'll be two more come on and then <clears throat> at six o'clock in the morning the Corps of Engineers and our local levy supervisors usually run and then we've got passes out to local people that can go out there and help them watch for So we've got three systems in there. We've got water main problems, we've had storm drain collapses, and we have, have storm drain with collapses, and so we I have some problems with Channel 6 today. So and she was doing it on the uh, emergency declaration and asking how we, you know, what we think of that and how it would affect us local. I said, well, <clears throat> as much damage as we've got and the repair that's going to have to be done, you know, you're talking about a lot of money. And I said, we're going to have, have to have somebody FEMA. with their hand out to give us the money. So, so has anyone been in here like from FEMA? Oh, Lord, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Ever. Well, the people just got up and left. <clears throat> they don't like to talk on the TV so, or camera. The guy sitting here is the assistant director of Jackson County EMA. Okay. The guy sitting where was the Jackson County Sheriff. Okay. He is actually the head of the EMA, but this other guy, the assistant, he's got a full-time job keeping this stuff going. And they've been real good about getting stuff for us. Yeah, I know uh, Jackson <coughs> County EMA is really good. Yes. So. They have to be in contact, the county has to be in contact with the state EMA. Right. Then in turn, the state goes to the federal level. We, they've declared and they, they voted it <clears throat> again on the, the county-wide declaration. They only voted on it for a seven-day period. Now, a while ago, I think they voted on it. They showed it on TV uh, another 30 days ago. Can we cross over there though? Yeah, we can walk anywhere okay. you want. They don't want anybody getting in the water because there, there's a lot of current there. And they started evacuations in East Cape. And they called it today, they're gonna cut power to East Cape and tell people in the residential areas that are underwater to get 